This update of the Drawtimator tool introduces two new major features. Uh, right away you can see the first one is the dual drawing mode, which allows twice as many parameters to be connected to and two XY pads so you can put two different drawings together at the same time. The next feature is the ability to insert a doofer into the track of your choice. Now what this allows you to do is use the MIDI Learn feature in Renoise and then connect together any MIDI controller you like and so this doofer is connected to the tool allowing the MIDI controller to directly control the tool itself and so you can use the MIDI controller and any MIDI connection software you like to directly control what's happening on the XY pads from the physical actions you take on the controller. Now, this is exactly what I had in mind for this device when I first created it, but I never put all this together because originally I thought it's not actually accurate enough to precisely record and then replay what it is that the user has drawn. And this was true for the first version. But for the other updates, I managed to figure this out and then code it so that this was accurate. And that leads to the current update, which is what I originally envisioned when I first created the tool, which is to use a gamepad controller and then use the analog sticks on that to control the two XY pads of the tool simultaneously. The way this normally works on the XY pads is you click the mouse and move it around and it knows precisely what's happening. But with the doofer it can't do that. So there are two separate record dials and when they hit 100 and how that happens depends on how you set up the MIDI mapping through the MIDI learn feature. When it hits 100 then the X axis and Y axis changes are detected and recorded onto the XY pad. When record is below 100, then the recording is stopped. And so any X axis and Y axis changes are not recorded because the drawing is finished and it is entered the standard replay mode. On the right side of the tool, there is the detect existing MIDI device button. And this is because uh, the tool is not associated with any song or instrument, so if you're using the tool with a loaded in song where you already have the Drawtimator doofer, uh, press this button and it will detect that within the song and link it to the tool so that you can start using it again within a different session. The next feature added is the real-time updating of track and device names when they are changed. And the track box has also been extended so you can see precisely what track it is you're working with. Uh, previously these would stay static even when changes occurred, but now uh, everything will be updated in real time, though this doesn't happen for parameter names. 
Not many parameters of devices can actually be changed in real time, but for those few ones that are, I'm afraid that there's no actual way to change it the same way for the track and device names. And this is purely an API limitation. Maybe we'll see uh, an update to that in the future if that facility gets added to the API. Next, uh, this is an accommodation for a bug fix within Renoise itself. There was a problem with uh, overlapping for BPM and LPB effect commands and automation within the master track. It's a bit complicated to get into here, but things work differently now in version 3.4 compared to previous versions. So what this tool does is it detects what version you're using and when you want to use the create automations button, it will do that precisely just depending on what version of Renoise it is that you're using. And finally, this is an actual bug fix within the tool itself. It keeps targeting your selected devices when the track order is changed. So previously it could lose the connection with the devices you selected and now it makes sure that that never happens. This presented itself in a couple of ways. Uh, one was introduced in version 1.2 and one had been there right from the start, but now both of those have been fixed. <laughs>